Um, and in Lebanon, when I was there, I, I, finished, I visited a, a, a community centre where young Syrian boys and girls, the average age of about 12, they were presented with the opportunity of, of sort of having drama therapy. So they presented a play about any subject that they wanted to discuss. And the boys and girls, average age of 12, the most pressing concern was then, was, of them was being forced, the girls being forced into early marriages. Uh, and so can you explain from, your, what, from what you have seen, the in, in displacement crisis, why, why parents uh, may feel that forcing their, their very young daughters into marriage is, is an option for them? Well, I mean, it all starts by we have to personalize the refugees. And a lot of times people are making decisions out of very practical needs as opposed to, you know, bad intentions for their kids. Um, recently, there's a, a movie, a Lebanese movie called Not Who We Are. It, it is about um, Syrian refugees. And one of the stories is about a mother who married off her 13 and 14 year old girls. And the mother is crying as she is describing the situation. She's like, we don't have food. We run out of food. I'm worried about their security. And it is a bittersweet, it's a bitter decision. It, but that, at least I have to marry her to someone who can take care of her and who can feed her. So when people make that decision, it's out of desperation. I, I don't believe mm. cultures are inherently bad <laughs> towards their uh, towards anything actually. People make very, very practical decisions, it's often stemming from poverty, from hunger, from lack of dignity, integrity, and all my discussions with refugees, particularly recently the Syrian refugees, 